welcome to my channel. My name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. I'm going to share with you today the things that I've made in May. I plan to make quite a few things. I'll put the link in up here so you can see what my plans were. I've managed, I think I've managed to make everything that I said I was going to make, which I'm really, really pleased with. I have made a couple of extra things as well, but they were things that were um, unfinished from months ago and I've just literally tidied them up and finished them. So a little bit of a cheat really, because they're not fully made in May but I'll crack on and show you the things that I've made. So the first thing I've made is this um, Agnes Freya dress hack. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. It was such a simple thing to make. I just literally laid the Agnes uh, from Tilly and the Buttons, the Agnes t-shirt top onto my material. I then laid the Freya dress over the top of it and manipulated it until I thought it looked about right, weighted it all down and then cut it out probably not very technical and I probably should have drawn out a whole new pattern piece. I don't know, does anybody else do that? I'm not quite sure. But this is how it turned out and I'm so pleased with how it has turned out. I'm definitely going to make some more of these because during the summer I think they're going to be really lovely, quick, comfy things to, to chuck on, especially going to the beach and things like that. So I'll stand up and show you. So it's just a very simple t-shirt dress. As you can see, it's got the Agnes shape top up here, and then it just kicks out, which is like the Freya dress, into almost like an A-line type of dress down here. Uh, the sleeves are mid-length, they're not really three-quarter length or short sleeves, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's very, very comfortable. Um, I think I could have made it any length that I wanted, but this seems to be quite all right, just a couple of inches above my knee. And uh, yeah, so that's my first make. This material was from Hobby Craft. It's just a t-shirt cotton jersey. So really, really easy and, uh, and very, very quick to make. I'll get changed and I'll show you my next make. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a bag. I went to an all day bag making class in um, a little place near us called Ivy Bridge. And it was run by two ladies, Lynn from So Bespoke and um, Danielle who is from Visualize Me, both really lovely ladies. Lynn makes and sells bags um, to order and other items as well and she ran this course, it was the first time of actually running it and it was just so lovely, it was really nice, I met some lovely new people which was great and uh, I made this really funky bag. I'm, I chose my own material and took it with me and it. she then provided all of the um, different bits and pieces that we needed like the, the feet on the bottom, the really really stiff interfacing and there was something else which I cannot remember what the name is, I kept forgetting it on the day as well but it makes the bag stand up, so whatever that is. And um, she taught us how to make the pockets on the inside and, and various bits and pieces. I will try and show you the inside but it's probably quite difficult to do that, I don't know, can you see? So there's a there's a zipped pocket in here, which has got um, all lining in it, all in the grey. And then on the other side, I put in like a padded pocket. It's got pen holders here. Oh, got a pen in it. And I made this so it was the size of my phone. So that goes in there and then just a bigger pocket. And then, yeah, just really, really lovely. It was a fun day. Um, lots of tea drinking, lots of biscuit eating that's fine <laughs> and uh, yeah really enjoyed it so that was my next thing now I'm going to share with you the thing that I've got on which is actually my pajamas <laughs> I should feel a bit funny sharing my pajamas with you but you know what I think this is the most favorite thing that I've made this month and I have to have to have to make more of these because I absolutely love them so I've made the true bias Hudson pants and the sew over it molly top just as a little t-shirt to go with it. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit so that you can see it. So these are my, oh, move my bag out of the way. These are my Hudson pants. I'll try and put a photo in because you can't see them fully because they've, they've got sort of cuffed bottoms. Um, they, oh, they just, they, oh, I just love them. <laughs> really love them they're really comfortable they were easy to make I love the colors that I've used as well this material was from Hobbycraft I did say in my video that I in my plans video that I might put some of the blue material in my t-shirt but I think if I'm gonna make more of these then it's handy to have a white t-shirt that you can just put with anything and I thought if I put some of the blue material in it I'm then gonna be kind of stuck with 
that's what I've got to you, you know, wear it with. So that's why I've kept the t-shirt really, really plain. I quite like the t-shirt actually. I, I'd forgotten about the molly top and I saw somebody else had made a molly top but with the short sleeves, which I hadn't hadn't even given a thought about. And I thought, oh, that's, a, that's a good idea. That's the t-shirt I could make. So I cut it off so it was a bit shorter. So it just, um, you know, just fell properly where my, um, where the Hudson pants were gonna come. Oh, and I, <laughs> I found this cord it was a cord that had um, come out of one of my daughter's hoodies and they just never had it back and now they're never gonna get it back because I've got it <laughs> uh, but it went really really well uh, so again this material was from um, a hobby craft but I bought the ribbing from a company called Higgs and Higgs and I have to say I've never used ribbing before and I if I make these again well not if when I make these again if I'm going to make them in a different colour where I might want something different than white, I'll definitely buy ribbing again because it was just so easy to use and it's so much nicer going over. Um, I've made various jumpers and bits and pieces where I've just used the material and it's fine and it looks really lovely, absolutely nothing wrong with it, but the feel of it going over your hand or going over your legs and things is nicer in the ribbing. So I'm going to do that again. So really pleased with this, going to make this again. <laughs> but I think I say that about everything that I make. Anyway, I'll get changed and show you the next thing. So the next thing that I made was for my daughter. Um, she's been doing her GCSEs here and it's really, really stressful. And there have been a couple of times where she's felt a little bit blue, I'm not gonna lie. And one evening I thought, I know what, cheer her up because she's been saying for ages that she wanted a Frankie tea with lemon sleeves and lemon neck band. So that's what I've done. I've made her a Frankie tea. Really pleased with how it's come out. Now I will say this is one of the things that I had already cut out. So it was very, very quick. I didn't have to you know, go cutting anything out. It, it was already all done and just in a, in a box, which I just hadn't got around to sewing. This material, is from a haberdashery shop in Plymouth and the white t-shirt material which I have to say is just absolute gorgeous quality it's from Luby Doo Fabrics I'll try and put a link into both of them below but yeah really really quick and easy make she was very happy with it she's not going to model for me on here but I've got a picture of her so I'll try and pop that in somewhere on the screen so that you can see a picture of her wearing it but she really really loves it and was very cheered up she's actually um after her GCSEs have finished and after prom, she's going to be doing a sponsored head shave. I was really, really worried about it because I think girls having their hair shaved is a, a really big deal. But she's been talking about doing this for a very, very long time. She's not attached to her hair in any way. It kind of comes almost down to her, I don't know, just above her hips really. I'll try and put a picture of her with her hair down actually so you can see it but we support a charity called Bowel Cancer West and we have done for a long long time and she just decided that she was going to do this and shave her head and try and, and um, raise money for the charity so next month I'm, I'm talking about my plans now when I shouldn't be but next month I'm going to be trying to make lots of bits and pieces for her which are very feminine looking and a bit different and a bit quirky because I think she just would like to have a bit of a new look and uh, a different way uh, about her. So yeah, if you're interested in that, I'll put some details about it down below. Anyway, on to the next thing I've made. I made dungarees and I absolutely love them. <laughs> I've never worn dungarees before, let alone made any. And I'm so pleased with them. This is a McCall's pattern. I'll put the details of the pattern down below. It, they're just really really comfortable they're really really nice and oh, yeah i love them so i top stitched quite a bit of it in this jade green which is what i said i was going to do i didn't do lots of top stitching because i was worried that it might end up looking a bit like a child's romper suit and that wasn't the look that i was going for so i've literally top stitched across the pocket and down the center seam that goes underneath the pocket i've top stitched across the top of the um, front pockets and across the top of the back pockets and just down the centre line of the back. I've also, if I can show you, um, lined all of it in this really, really lovely cotton. I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. 
Again, I know nobody's gonna see that except for me, but I really like it and it makes me smile when I when I take them off and put them on, so I don't care. So I'll stand up and show you what these look like. I'll turn the camera slightly so you can get a more full view. They fit really nicely. I did do um, an adjustment on the crotch line because they were just a little bit too short. So I've done them first in a um, old duvet and realized it wasn't quite right. So I just increased that slightly. Um, uh, other than that, I'll try and my stand a bit further away. No, I can't show you, but they, I'll try and put a picture of them in as well. But they, um, they come in either a flared version or a straight leg. I'm more of a straight leg person, so that's how I've done them. And yeah, they fit really nicely. I've just got it on with a, an old um, roll neck jumper, but I, I need to make some tops to go with it. And I've already got some ideas in mind as to what I'd like to wear underneath them, um, which possibly be a bit lighter weight because black's a bit heavy with this. So really, really pleased. And I think I'm gonna make these again, but just as the trouser version. I don't think I will wear dungarees all the time, um, but I would definitely like to make them as the trousers because they're such nice fitting trousers. Also, my daughter um, would like to have these in a flared version, but again, as trousers, not as dungarees. So I'll hopefully be doing that. Right, I'll get changed and show you my next item. So the next two things I have on, uh, one of them is the Ogden Cami, which I know I've made a few of these before and I know you've seen them before, but this is just a totally plain white one, really pleased with it. I just think that it is going to be a real staple in my wardrobe because, well, it'll go with anything. I think it'll go well under workwear, I think it'll go nicely with, you know, just casually as well. And the other thing that I've made is a pair of Sew Over It Ultimate Trousers. Now I started making these. I don't know probably about six months ago and they were actually just a toil that I was making and I don't really know why I never finished them I think I think at the time I thought they were really difficult but now that I've done them I, I feel quite happy with them and I've made these in a non stretch cotton but if I make them again which I think I'm going to in fact actually I've bought some material to make them again I've bought some stretch cotton this time and I probably will size down I couldn't have sized down in these they fit really really nicely but because they're not stretched that they're right as they are I'll have to put a picture in of these because I don't think you can see them fully when I'm standing up here but I'll try and show you what this looks like so Ogden Cami which I know you've seen the Ogden Cami before V-neck at the back, which is really nice, and the oh, sew over at Ultimate Trousers. So this is the fabric, really cheery and bright. I think this would look quite nice with maybe like a little red cardigan over or even a navy blue one. They fit really nicely all the way round. I've seen lots of people do these where they add a waistband on, but I've actually just kept it um, as the pattern suggested because they came up quite high on me anyway, so it was fine. Um, they are very, very straight legged. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, just very, very straight legged. And yeah, really, really nice, nice for the summer. Really, really comfortable. Because they're in a cotton, they're quite breathable. But like I say, I think when I make them again, they are meant to really be in a stretch cotton, and I think that would be better, but I'll probably size down a little bit. I'm gonna keep this Ogden cami on because I've made another pair of trousers, but I need your help and your opinions on it. So I'll get changed and show you the next thing. I've made a pair of Sew Over It carry trousers, and I've really wanted to make a pair of these for quite some time because I've made some for my children and I absolutely love them. And I keep seeing people wearing, and I will say young people, <laughs> wearing quite checkered type trousers, and I, that's what I've done. I've made a pair of checkered carry trousers and they're really nice. They fit really nicely. I'm really, really pleased with them. I'll show them to you in a second. But when I, show, when I showed my family, they all said, oh, they're nice pajamas. I don't, I didn't make them as pajamas. I've made them to wear out. So I haven't worn them out. In fact, I haven't worn them at all because I'm now like, oh, I don't really know what to do. So tell me what you think. They are made out of a pink and grey checkered material. They are really, really comfortable. They are quite a simple make actually. I, I really love them. I, I love the carry trousers. I'm quite happy with some of the pattern matching that I got down the sides. I 
slightly misaligned on the front, which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, no, really, really pleased. I, I thought these with a white camisole or even maybe the camisole tucked in as well, that would look quite nice. But everybody says they look like pajamas. And if that is what they're gonna look like, that's fine. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to wear them out. Should I keep these as pajamas and make myself another pair, which are summery, flowery, that kind of thing? Or can I wear them out? What do you reckon? <laughs> So yeah, if you have any ideas what you think, just put a comment down below and tell me what you think. I'm going to get changed into the last thing that I've got that I have made for myself, but I've also got something else to show you that I made for my dad as well. So I made my dad a jumper. I'd made one for my husband in a round neck, which he really, really liked, and he asked if I could make him one, but could you just do it in a v-neck? like that oh <laughs> I don't know can I <laughs> so I couldn't I tried to find a pattern and I couldn't find anything that I really liked that I thought would be appropriate for him and the pattern I had that was the round neck version was a really nice top so I just literally tried to to make one in a v-neck now I haven't got the garment here because he's now got it I'm wearing it I'm very happy with it I'm pleased to say um, but I'm going to put some pictures in of it but this is the material that I use. I just actually bought this from a company on eBay. It's called Melange. Never, never realised what that's what, what it was called. It's sort of um, got almost like a coating on the back and it's just very, very soft. He says it's really warm actually. So I'm really pleased with how it came out. The V-neck actually turned out really nicely and, um, and he's really pleased with it. So I'll put some pictures in and I've got a little video clip of him as well, which is quite funny, of him wearing it. So here's my dad. <laughs> so the last thing that I made is the Deer and Doe Givre. I made this out of material that I bought from Higgs and Higgs and I can't say how pleased I am with this. I absolutely love it. So the material is just cotton jersey and it's they've both got a black background. This one's got like a white speckle on it and this one has almost like a brush stroke maybe. I'm not quite sure what how you'd describe that really. But the dress itself, the construction of it is really really easy. The material is really really nice. I'd like to make this dress again but in different material and I'd also like to make something else out of this material that I've got left over because I really overcompensated for what I needed so I've got loads of it left over. I'll stand up and show you what it looks like. I'm just I'm just so happy with it. I I really really love it. I think the combination of the two materials works really really well and I wear it to work and it feels really smart. I think a little cardigan over the top would be nice. I I'd like to make this without the um contrasting. I'd like to make it again with contrasting but different fabric. I yeah, I just think it's going to be great. Oh and I'd like to make it as a top as well because I think that would be really nice. So that's everything that I made in May, which was quite a lot. I'm definitely not gonna be making as much as this in June. First of all, girls have still got their GCSEs, GC real GCSEs and mock GCSEs. My other daughter's coming home from university. I've got a really big event going on at the end of June, um, which I explained in, in my um, get to know me a bit better video which I'll put a link in if you haven't seen it. I'm doing a really big bike ride at the end of June and I've got lots and lots of training that I'm trying to squeeze in so sewing's gonna have to take a little bit of a back seat which I'm a little bit sad about I have to say but it is what it is so there'll be less things going on in June. Um, but if you have enjoyed this today and you're new, then please do subscribe. If you think there's anybody else that might like to see these videos then then share away. I never did a, um, a giveaway for reaching a thousand subscribers and I really want you guys to know quite how grateful I am um, for you know joining me and subscribing and chatting to me. I really really love it and I thought maybe to show my appreciation when I reach 2,000 subscribers I would do that. So I'm gonna start organizing the things that I can give away um, so please do share this with um, other sewing friends of yours because it would be really nice to be able to do that. In, other than that, have a really good week everybody. 
take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!